We had spring in our steps. It was all around. Birdsong, bluebells, garlic and celandine. We bounded up the woodland steps, pausing at number 199 to hear the chiff chaff call. Chiff chaff, chiff chaff. And, and also for me to catch my breath. At the top, still gasping. So we settled down onto the high field bench to stare out into the crystal clear distance. Suddenly I froze and pointed. We watched silently as a graceful roe deer in the distance started to walk towards us. He didn't move a muscle and the deer walked past us a few yards distant. Her white rump shining in the sun. My friend and I turned to look at each other and we both had tears in our eyes. Shall we see where she goes? Not in a determined deer hunting way, but in a following sort of a way. We stood up, looked around, and suddenly saw an old man appearing over the brow of the hill. A small old man with a tiny dog held on a lead. Did you see which way she went? he asked. The roe deer. We pointed to the woods back over the hill, and he started to explain. Last year... I was checking on the green hair streak butterflies. There was a colony back then in that patch of bluebells over there. I was crouching over trying to see if there were any butterflies this year. They camouflage so well, you see. I was there for ages. Then I noticed the dog getting restless. So I turned around and I come face to face with the deer. She'd been sniffing my bottom. Why, I said, what are you doing? So she backed away and stood looking at me full in the face for a few minutes and then wandered slowly away. It's good to see her again. My friend and I told him we were going to follow the deer's path, which led into the far woods. We would make sure that we were doing this in a gentle, following magical creatures sort of a way. And he smiled with understanding and waved us on. But she had melted into the trees and that day did not honour us with her presence again.